Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever Series 2 The Great Lakes. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And uh, last time out, we were doing some more work. As you can see, we're in Cincinnati right now, but we were doing work in Columbus, Cincinnati, Indianapolis. We did a little bit of work in Cleveland, uh, some work in Fort Wayne and some work in Pittsburgh. Where else did we do any work? Buffalo. We did some work in Buffalo. So those were the places where we worked in the last episode and we were just sorting out, uh, as you can see here, some of the roads and just making sure that we had some four lane roads in places, the roads look right, the sizes were right and just there was just areas for traffic to flow, something that would improve the traffic flow in many areas. Plus, plus we managed to get Pittsburgh Station actually upgraded so trains can pass through at high speed now so that should really improve uh, the throughput there well it wouldn't really be the throughput it'd be a, a through fare maybe I guess because it's not actually stopping there anyway it's going to improve the trains passing through on express services so they don't have to slow down to 75 miles per hour anymore so we've got that anyway off camera in Cincinnati I did say I'd try this out and I did and it seems to actually work rather well Slightly odd there, but if you're looking at it from an angle like this, looks absolutely fine, nothing to complain about. So I went ahead and upgraded that. In this episode, we're not going to be looking at the roads, as I said, in Philadelphia and Washington. In fact, we are going to be around Washington, but we're actually going to be looking at improving this stone supply. You can see here, there are eight, there is 851 stone waiting. Uh, the nearest stone train, that stone train has just taken 504. The nearest stone train is right the way over here. So we need to somehow improve that. And with that, we're probably going to have to improve the entire line. So make sure you stay tuned for the next 20 to 25 minutes for that. Okay, so here is the stone train. Here is the stone train, and it is 47 years old. So now it's 47 years old, which means it's been it's been in operation for quite a long time. In fact, it started in 1935. Then, uh, if my maths is correct, 1935 to 1982 is when it's been running. We need to get this train replaced. Now, in terms of replacement, I'm not sure what to replace it with because we have these trains the big boys running up down and all around now that being said realistically looking at this there isn't we don't need a train that goes any faster than well it gets up to some sort of speed there 65 i would say we don't need a train that goes any faster than 80 miles per hour how is that 75 what how is that 75 but that's 180 okay um anyway 85 miles per hour i think we don't need a train faster than that so we've got that uh, to actually consider so we'll go for the replacement vehicle oh right over here and we're going to do this in this episode because we have upgraded Indianapolis, which means we should be able to get the stone uh, in and out a little bit better. Now, looking at these speeds, this is what we've got right now. 60 miles per hour is its top speed. So that's definitely going to improve once we get rid of this uh, class 9000. Now, to replace the class 9000, we could put the big boy on. We really could put a big boy on. I know they've been around since 44, but, you know, it's... It's a possibility. The other things we could put on are these, but these are very slow. Or we could go for a full-on one of these if we could, but we need to find uh, one that's actually capable of a decent amount of speed. It should be these, I think. Yep, we've got these. Now, I think maybe, maybe since we are slowly moving away from steam, I think maybe these are these are the ones we want however that being said do i want to run this and continue running this as a steam line because i think it'd be pretty awesome to have a steam line running along there's a few freight routes that just still run steam but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to swap into one of these first 
we're going to try one of these first and if you guys in the comments do not like this i'm going to go back to a big boy and we're going to make sure that we can carry uh 42 gondolas uh, actually more than 42 gondolas because that's a 530 meter train we're going for a full 600 meters so again let's have a look at the current train that is 60 miles per hour tractive effort of 96,000 pound feet uh, and about 5,000 bhp or hp at the wheels so this has got more tractive effort but not that much power so what we probably need are two of these that's that seems reasonable now the question is which one there are other freight there are other ones around we could look at 65 65 50 65 70 maybe 65 again that, that's the problem if these ones could do 80 I would have picked these if any of these could have done 80 I would have definitely picked them but they're just there isn't any that can do 80 unless 70 is going to be the, the speed of choice but I feel like we could reach 70 miles per hour quite easily so I think I'm going to have to take this, but which one now? Norfolk and Weston? I don't think so. Chicago Northwestern's a possibility. Let's just try this. If it doesn't look right, we'll always get it replaced. We'll get the locomotives replaced. So we're going to have two. And then we want, obviously not those, they're very slow. You can see that's... Oh, no, wait, those are 90... Hello! 99 miles per hour. You can take 18 stone. How much do each of these gondolas take? It's a standard gondola. I don't know. I'm assuming so. 12. And how big is a gondola? 12 meters. How big is an open hopper? Thirteen meters? No. Twelve fifteen meters. Okay. And the gondola takes twelve and this takes eighteen for fifteen. And that takes twelve for twelve meters. So that takes one per meter. This clearly takes more than one per meter. So this is the one of choice. Good. Oh wait. I've now got these. How big are these? Fifty six, that was fifty four. Yep, they're definitely better. They're definitely better. Although we've got a bunch of really nice looking hoppers. Ugh. Oh wait, we've got these as well. They take 13 though. They take 13 on and off. And we've got these. Oh, but they, they're very long. No, we can't take those. So. Oh no, we've got more hoppers. Really? 81 and 75, that's 70, 13, 19, at 58. No, that, that's actually the best hopper of, uh, where is it? That's actually the hopper of choice right now. Yeah, it's genuinely the hopper of choice. Okay, so here we go. Can you change the color of them? I'm not sure. Uh, we'll do. We'll change. We'll try and change the color. Just gonna keep some deeper, deeper colors, and then some grays. Uh, a couple of them. One of that. A couple more blues. Oh well, that will do. 37 of them as opposed to 42 gondolas okay hang on a second so 42 gondolas take 504 37 
37 times 18 is, uh, what's 37 times 18 going to be? So 37, 40 times 18, take away, take away 8, 16, thing. So it's going to be around 666. I think it's going to be 666. Can we stick another one on the back? Will it, will it accept a 608 meter? I don't know. That's a lot more. That's definitely a lot more. Now, if we take away 18 and give it another locomotive on the back, will it be happy? Let's do that because that might give it the power to go around. And yes, it's slightly less. It's what, um, it's going to be 648. It's going to be 648 as opposed to 666. But if we can power it around faster, that'll work. Okay, let's do that as replace now. And let's follow this train on its final journey. Get rid of that. Here we go. The final journey for this train. Should really be checking the speed, I guess. Oh no, 60. Yeah, see what I mean? At this point, we could be pushing up to 70. Yeah, see, if this can reach 60 here, we should be able to push 70. So it's a faster train that carries more. That might really help us out. In fact, no, it's not It's not a, a question of might really help us out. That will really help us out. Uh, that looks like a decent screenshot opportunity. As long as we don't get photobombed by a train coming in the opposite direction. Hello. Look at it coming along, chugging along, happily chuffing along on its final journey. That's a lot of rattling. The thing is, it sounds very realistic, actually. Oh, that's an even better screenshot, isn't it? If you can get the farmhouse in. Some sign of civilization, essentially. I think I got that. Okay, so I'm watching it here. 61 miles per hour. Here comes the other one. And remember, that was unloaded, so this is fully laden. So that's doing 53 fully laden. And we'll watch that speed. But you can see there's so much stone waiting that this is, it's going to really improve because if you think about it, 504 to 600 and, uh, what did I say it was? 504 to 600 and, I can't remember what it was now, 642? I think it was 504 to 642. I think. I'm not entirely sure. How many how many did I replace it with? It was uh thirty-seven of them. No, it was thirty-six of them then, wasn't it? So thirty-six times eighteen is what, six hundred and forty-eight. Yeah, six hundred and forty-eight. Six six yeah. So it wasn't six four two. Did I say six four two when I was calculating for I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. So 648, so that is an inc that is definitely a, that's a huge increase, that's an increase of 140, 144. Yeah, that's an increase of 144 units to be carried each time, plus they'll be going faster. So we're looking at maybe an increase in speed overall of, I don't know, I don't know about... Maybe a 15% increase if you take into a factor into account acceleration uh, off the slow corners and things like that. Maybe you're looking about 15% faster 
yeah, you've got 15% faster and carrying what um, carrying over 25% or well, 30% more 50% faster 30% more being carried Yeah, I think so. Well, we'll join this on the on the final run. In fact, uh, I should probably want to pause it. No, not there. Don't press that. There, because that's actually quite, a, quite an interesting look. There we go. In fact, that might be the screenshot. If I can get the mouse out the way. Go away, mouse. One more pixel, please. There we go. Thank you. That's uh, that's actually a good look because that. Oh look, one thousand waiting. One thousand are waiting. That yeah, we've definitely got to do this. Well, let me speed this up anyway, so we can get it around this. There we go. into Washington for the final time look at that one last time in uh, auto save or what and now we're changed up there we go that's a full-size train it's carrying stuff it's picking things up it's carrying hoppers this is going to be an interesting journey. All of them are black. Six hundred and forty-eight of them. That didn't sound great. Engine sounds good though. I can't wait until it actually... Unless it's accelerating. Okay, let's fast forward this out of here. Let's watch the acceleration. I still think it'll be faster. I still think it'll be a lot faster. I, mean, I don't think, is it struggling to come up the hill? It's definitely got the torque. Does it, does it have enough power though? Surely it must have enough power. How much does it, what's the mass of this now? It should have the power. Ooh, I should have changed the hoppers out. The hoppers can only go 75, can't they? Uh, this train could go 81. I was thinking of a different train. Ah. Wait. Can they? Can they not? I don't know. Wagons. Oh, no. The hoppers can go 99. Okay, we're talking about more than a 15% increase in, in speed then. We should be looking at far more than that as it goes around this corner. Now it should start accelerating, surely. 29? Come on. Give me something. Or is this going to be a huge disappointment to end this episode? Do you guys just not accelerate? 33 downhill now it's now it's going to take some yeah now it's going to take it on a little bit 40 or almost 40 now oh, don't tell me i'm gonna to have to put another one on this that's going to take another i don't fancy bringing the that's going to take another two hoppers down as long as it can reach the speed as long as it can reach in excess of 60 miles per hour I know we're doing okay. 
at some point it has to reach an excess of 60. Right? Although, that being said, this is fully laden. So, that's another thing to consider. Hello. Why are you doing 54? Why are you only doing 54? Oh, tight corner. 63. 64. Of course, tight corners. Fifty-five. Hmm. Maybe I've got this wrong. Just maybe. I don't know. Okay, at this point I know I was doing sixty in in the train coming up this way. And this one I'm doing fifty-five going the opposite way. But accelerating. So maybe I'm able to keep my speed up? I don't know. I don't know. Do you think I've got this wrong? Let me know in the comments box if you think I've got this wrong. It's doing 60 around these corners. It's going to slow down for that. It's not going to slow down for that. Okay. And we're back up to 60. 62, 63. So we're faster. 65. Okay, now we're definitely faster. But by how much? We're slowing down again. It needs another engine. It needs another engine, I think. Oh, that's not... How can three diesel engines not keep up with a single steam engine? And with that disappointment, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transports Fever, Series 2, The Great Lakes, and then Series 3, The Great Western Railway. Leave a comment in the comments box below. Let me know what you think. If you think I've made a mistake on this, I'm sure you've already told me, but um, I probably have. Don't forget to support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your supports would be massively, massively appreciated. Would really, really help me out. Uh, also, you can follow me on Twitch if you're not... Uh, if you're not watching this on Twitch, that's twitch.tv slash ecgadget. And you can find me on social media at ecgadgetlp on both Twitch, uh, sorry, on both Twitter and Instagram. That's all from me. I'll see you guys next time in Transports Fever Series 2, The Great Lakes. Yeah, this has gone wrong. <laughs>